Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel where it's all about learning and playing the music we love. I'm Phil and this video is the next in the series looking at the skills and techniques that make the playing of Mark Knopfler completely unique and recognisable. In over 45 years of listening to and playing the music of Mark Knopfler, I've noticed, as probably you have, that there are some characteristics of the way the great man plays that set his sound apart from anyone else, whether he's playing in a rock, acoustic, strap, Les Paul, folk, or any other style you care to mention. One thing is certain, you can always recognise the MK sound. And this is, of course, down to what he does with his fingers on the strings. So without further ado, let's dive in. Come with me. Okay, in this next video in this series, I'm going to look at what I call the power pluck. Uh, you'll hear this technique used on a lot of MK's heavier songs, um, where there's a lot of distortion, really heavy guitar, some examples, and the example I'm gonna to use to illustrate this one is Heavy Fuel. Uh, but you'll also hear it on Song for Sonny Liston from Shangri-La, uh, Junkie Doll from Sailing to Philadelphia, and who could forget, of course, Money for Nothing. Um, but Heavy Fuel is the one I'm going to use. So let's have a look at that riff now. Okay, so this is how the riff uh, looks and sounds. I'll go at uh, a reasonable speed to start with before we break it down. Most of the work is done in the picking hand on this one, but I've split the screen so that you can see uh, that I'm starting with a bar across the second fret uh, from the D string right up to the E string. And the riff goes something like this. So let's concentrate on the picking hand now. I'm going to take a bit of gain off this so that we're not distracted by the distortion. So the first thing to note is that we start with the, 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 the first time that the D string is plucked. It's plucked with both the thumb and the forefinger. I think it just provides real kind of uh, something extra. So it's those two plus the middle finger playing the G string. That's a hammer on for that note. Okay. Let me work through slowly. And just concentrate on that picking hand. Got some real complexity to this one. Let's see if we can break it down even further. So, so we do that first pluck and hammer on and then all of the fingers come down and stop the strings. And then once the strings have been stopped, middle finger plucks the G string just before the D string is plucked. Let me show you what that looks like. plucked together. And then let me split that so you can see what's happening on the neck. And repeat. Let me go let me do that slowly both together. So 
So fundamental to this little technique is the use of uh, the interval of a fifth. So if you imagine the root note in E, then E minor goes up to the third, which is the G. And then the fifth goes up to the B. So that's the fifth. Okay, so fundamental to this technique is the use of that fifth. But it's always going to be, pretty much always going to be, on the D and the G strings. So Money For Nothing starts up here. Okay. Heavy Fuel. And so on. So do listen out for this technique, which is used on quite a lot of the heavier stuff. And when you're trying to play along, when you're trying to work out, all you need to work out really, generally speaking, is where that fifth on the D and the G strings needs to start. Because the beauty of using that is... Hammer on from a simple bar to using your ring finger, hammer on to create that fifth interval. And with some distortion in there, plenty of gain on your amp, bit of delay and some reverb and so on, sounds really, really fantastic. So that's it for this video. Hope you got something out of it that you can use in your playing. Look out for the next one in the series coming soon. But for now, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.